Hi everyone, I am Bhavya Sajit, B.Sc. Forensic Science 3rd year student. I am here to give you a small description about computer processor. So in this scenario, we will discuss the following topics. That is a small introduction about a processor, what are the basic knowledge, its working, components and what is single, double and multi-core processors, microprocessor, its future expectations and so on. So firstly let's see what does a processor mean. This is how a processor looks like. A processor is a piece of hardware that interprets the instructions that drive a computer. Processors are the brains of a computer with good reason. Without a processor, computers could not run programs. A processor is an integrated electronic circuit that performs the calculations that run a computer. A processor performs arithmetical, logical, input or output (I.O.) and other basic instructions that are passed from an operating system that is OS. Most other processors are dependent on the operations of a processor. The terms processor, central processing unit, CPU and microprocessor are commonly linked as synonyms. Technically, there is more than one processor in a computer such as a graphic processing unit, GPU, but the CPU is arguably the most important one. The processing units take instructions from a computer's random access memory that is RAM. The CPU decodes and processes an action when an instruction is received. Then the CPU delivers on the output. Intel and AMD are the most well-known businesses in the CPU industry with for desktops, laptops and server computers. So let's see where is the central processing unit located. Processors are located on the motherboard of a computer. They attach to what a CPU socket or a CPU slot. There is a lever next to a CPU which is used to ensure that it remains attached to the motherboard. So let's see some basic terms or let's have a, some basic knowledge about the processor. That is processors are found in many modern electronic devices including PCs, smartphones, tablets and other handheld devices. Their purpose is to receive input in the form of program, instructions and execute trillions of calculations to provide the output that the user will interface with. A processor includes an arithmetic, logic and control unit CU, which measures capability in terms of the following, that is ability to process instructions at a given time maximum number of bits or instructions and relative clock speed. Every time that an operation is performed on a computer such as when a file is changed or application is opened, the processor must interpret the operating system or software's instructions. Depending on its capabilities, the processing operations can be quicker or slower and have a big impact on what is called the processing speed. It is about the CP. Then each processor is constituted of one or more individual processing units that is called core. Each core processes instructions from a single computing task at a certain speed. This is defined as the clock speed. And it is measured in gigahertz since Increasing clock speed beyond a certain point became technically too difficult. Modern computers now have several processor cores that is dual core, quad core, single core and so on. They work together to process instructions and complete multiple tasks at the same time. Modern desktop and laptop computers now have a separate processor to handle graphics rendering and send output to the display monitor device. Since this processor, the CPU, is specifically designed for the task 
computers can handle all operations that are especially graphic intensive such as video games more efficiently so the processor performs the calculations needed to run a computer processor double in speed about every 2 years computers may have more than one processor and other devices such as cars smart watches and also some other devices may have the processors so some of the terms included in the uh, processor are regarding the processor are the clock speed core hyper threading cache multi processing parallel processing and so on so let's see them one by one firstly clock speed a clock speed is a measuring uh is a measure of how quickly a computer completes basic com computations and operations it is measured as a frequency in hertz generally this speed varies 2.4 to 3.4 gigahertz next is core a processor core is a hardware unit in the processor architecture that can execute instructions to send and then next is hyper threading this hyper threading uh in this hyper threading thread are the virtual core and work like a real core inside the cpu when cores assembled with multi threads then it is known as the hyper threading technology okay so next uh, other terms are cache the cache is the first block of ram which interact between the main memory and cpu using cache controller chip which uh, what we have used that is cache controller chip then this memory helps processor to fetch instructions in quick routine and is very faster than ram next is multi processor simultaneous processing with two or more processors in one computer or two of more computers processing together is uh, we called multi processing parallel processing in this pra parallel processing the simultaneous use of core than one cpu or processor core to execute a program or multiple computational threads so next let's see how the processor or uh, the cpu work cpus may have with a more bells and whistles than ever before at their core they use the same set of processors these processors are called the fetch execute cycle that what is fetch execute cycle this cycle has mainly three steps fetch decode execute firstly the st first step is fetch the first step in the fetch execute cycle is fetching it involves receiving or fetching an instruction this instruction is sent from the ram to cpu in decoding the cpu processes an instruction using its decoder when it is sent from the instruction register the cpu turns the instruction into a series of sig signals that can be interpreted by other parts of the cpu in the execute step at the end of this processor the computer executes the decoded instructions the instructions are sent to other parts of the processor to be executed the cpu register saves the instruction after the execution this helps improve the speed of the processor because it can remember some instructions it has processed so in short the working of processor mainly consists of four steps or three te steps also these steps are firstly fetch during the fetch step the processor retrieves program instructions from the memory in decoding step the instruction is broken down into parts in the execute step the cpu performs the operation implied by the program instructions and there is another extra step that is write back during the write write back step the processor writes back the results of execution to the computer's memory 
so next let's see what are the components of the CPU there uh, are four components of the CPU as we can see in the diagram they are ALU FPU register and cache memory the ALU or the arithmetic logic unit carries out all the arithmetic and logic operations it operates with integer numbers which are whole numbers it is mainly responsible for calculation and logical comparison and decision next part is the floating point unit FPU it manipulates floating point numbers which are numbers that include a decimal then there is the register the register holds the instructions received from other parts of a computer it tells the ALU what processes to carry out and stores the result of those operations register is a special memory used by the CPU for temporarily storing data during execution of the instructions some of the registers are instruction decoder programmer counter instruction register process status register accumulator etc the processors include L1 and L2 memory this comes under the part cache memory this cache of memory allows the processor to store data locally without having to retrieve it from the RAM the inclusion of this component helps make a CPU quicker and more efficient so let's see what are the types of processors there are mainly three types and some other types are also there I will explain one by one the major types of CPU are classified as a single core dual core and quad core some other types are hexa core octa core deca core and etc so firstly let's see what is a single core processor it is the oldest type of CPU which is available and employed in the most of the personal and official computers. The single core CPU can execute only one command at a time and it's not efficient in multitasking. It signifies that there is markable declination in the performance if more than a single operation is executed. If one operation is started, the second process should wait until the first one is finished but if it is fed with multiple operations the performance of the computer is drastically reduced this performance of a single core CPU is based on its clock speed by measuring its power so single core processors processor has only one core to process different operations it is in short this is uh, what a single processor single core processor looks like and uh, it has CPU chip bus interference interface sorry and uh, system bus and so on then next type is dual core CPU or dual core processor it is a single CPU that comprises of two strong cores and functions like dual CPU acting like one. Unlike the CPU with a single core, the processor must switch back and forth within a variable array of data streams and if or more thread is executed, the dual core CPU manages the multitasking eff effectively. To utilize the dual core CPU effectively, the running programs and operating system should have a unique code called simultaneous multi-threading technology embedded in it. Dual core CPU is rapid than a single core but is not robust as quad core CPU. So in short dual core CPU or dual core processor has two cores to process operations able to process more information at the same time compared to a single core like Intel Core i3 and Intel Core i5 and the next type is the quad core CPU uh, 
and this quad core CPU the it is the, uh, a refined model of a multi core CPU features and designs with four cores on a single CPU similar to dual core CPU that divides the work load in between the cores and quad core enables for effective multitasking it doesn't signify any single operation which is for times faster rapid than others unless the applications and program executed on it by SMT code will fasten the speed and becomes unnoticeable. Such types of CPU are used in people who need to execute multi different, multiple different programs at the same time as the gamers series of supreme commander that is optimized in the multi-core CPU. In short, the quad-core processor contains two dual-core processors in one integrated circuit and generally used for multitasking like Intel Core i7. Then some other processors are as I mentioned earlier, hexa-core processors, octa-core processors and deca-core processors. So let's see the next topic that is microprocessor. Firstly, let's see what, a, what does a microprocessor mean. A microprocessor is a computer processor where the data processing logic and control is included on a single integrated circuit or a small number of integrated circuits. The microprocessor contains the arithmetic, logic and control cir circuitry required to perform the functions of the computer's central processing unit. There are some advantages and disadvantages of microprocessors. That is, uh, some of the advantages are it has high processing speed, it is a compact in size, easy maintenance, can perform complex mathematics, it's flexible and can be improved according to the requirement. Then some of the disadvantages are it is over it, uh, it um, there may be overheating due to overuse performance depends on the size of the data large board size than the multi controllers sorry microcontrollers most microprocessors do not support floating point this is what a microprocessor means and what are the advantages and disadvantages now let's see what are the future expectations about processors processor will be more energy efficient than present time it's one of the main future expectation about that there may be having high clock speed like 10 to 15 gigahertz and have 10, uh, 8 to 10 cores with hyper threading or a new equivalent technology. Their size will be more smaller that is we hope nano processor will come in place of microprocessor. They will be more cheaper and reliable. So at last multi-core processors represent an important new trend in the computer architecture as we know and this is this all show that the way how modern computing is done so uh, i have taken the references from these medias and i hope everyone understood the content and liked this presentation thank you for uh, cooperation and uh, attention of this content and thank you all for 